Amazon's movie out last week. Without remorse. It's an action film. An action film that looks like it was filmed in 92 or hasn't quite gotten the Die Hard movies on board. You know, uh, a real old fashioned action hero played by Michael B. Jordan. Tom Clancy's John Kelly, is that right? Um, race reversed, I guess, for what that's worth. Not much on this one. It is one suck-ass movie. Without redeeming features, truly, okay? Um, it's the most formulaic formula imaginable. He's a special forces Superman. They kill his family. But they done fucked with the wrong motherfucker this time. For they've released a heroic, moral, extremely muscular man to kill everybody within reach while undergoing various audience effective, uh, like, while accumulating various audience affecting wounds. Boy, do they beat Michael Jordan to death in this movie. I mean, they shoot him, you know, they concuss him, they, uh, the sheer brain injuries you would have undergone if you went through what uh, Michael Jordan went through in that movie. He's the hero, but they do torture him, which is, well, I mean, it's the diehard formula there, right? Like you just get worse and worse, <laughs> you know, <laughs> until you're limping on both legs, you're carrying 16 bullets, um, but you just keep rolling on. Um, and without remorse, Michael B. Jordan plays Liam Neeson, playing nothing on God's green earth, and yet a character that's appeared in a million movies. The Killing Machine. The good, good hearted Killing Machine, <laughs> released by circumstances because you killed his, you know, his wife, his daughter, always something like that. Or you kidnapped him or whatever, you know. Uh, so now he doesn't have to answer to his conscience anymore. Now he's just going to fucking kill a bunch of people. A real, a bunch of people. Um, as is often the case, the production team spent $100 million on catering on the set, but couldn't afford twenty seven ninety nine dollars for a decent script. Or maybe they dropped another 100 mil on the script, but they've got no idea how to recognize what a good script is. Do you see what I mean? You know, uh, it's not that they didn't pay for a script. It's that they had no idea, like, uh, how to assess a script. Um, they may have, incredible as it seems, they may have been laboring under the delusion, this is the production team, that the dialogue in which they directed Jordan is plausible or interesting dialogue. In fact, Jordan spends most of the uh, movie merely grunting. Really. That's most of his dialogue. I don't know if they wrote that. Uh, you know, wrote that into the script in detail. Um, screwing up his face in pain and flexing his protein shake. Uh, physique. A real action hero. In short, he's a rudimentary He-Man in the throwback mode. Barely linguistic. You know, kind of pre-linguistic. Like the script writers. We're meant to deeply be deeply affected by the death of uh, the character's pregnant wife, but the relationship is sketched in the most perfunctory terms. They barely sort of try to act through the <laughs> act in scenes. Um, well, we know, and the director knows, that the point is to get through that bit as quickly as possible so that we can release Jordan's John Kelly to his killing spree. Now, perhaps Michael B. Jordan could be a fine action hero, a black Tom Cruise, or whatever. 
Uh, it'll be hard to tell until he gets a decent director and some kind of script. Uh, or some kind of, I mean, the storyline is, you know, bizarrely fantastic, okay. Uh, but I guess that is what you'd expect even in a Clancy novel and definitely in a lot of these, you know, you know, try really mapping out the plot of the Bourne movies or something like that, and, you know, uh, to see what that has to do with the real world or whatever. But, um, so it's, it's all pretty absurd, but, uh, I guess maybe we could forgive that. The Secretary of Defense is sponsoring Russian terrorists in the U.S., because he thinks that America needs an enemy. Spoiler alert, you don't get that until the last scene or something, but uh, if you knew it right from the start, <laughs> it wouldn't be surprising, and it wouldn't matter at all because you're just there for the explosions, you know, uh, and I guess you're there for the grunting. Um, the action sequence sequences are directed without any wit or style, whatever. There's not a moment of, uh, there's not a humorous moment in the movie, which is just not the way you do an action movie anymore, for very good reasons, okay? I mean, you should just like uh, compare this to maybe to the, any Fast and Furious movie, right? There's so much power to that. Um, it's just, pop, it, the action sequences are just, basically piles of bullet-ridden corpses in uh, smoke-filled concrete basements and a whole bunch more groaning. You know, the whole pile of uh, soon-to-be corpses is groaning together as Michael B. Jordan, the wounded Michael B. Jordan, stumbles through killing people. <laughs> um, as ridiculous... Okay. Uh, I mean, okay, I guess this is what I'm writing, though. But as ridiculous as the Bourne films are... The roller coaster chases are stylish and fun. Uh, here is just a man with a head like a concrete block shooting people as he grimaces. That's entertainment. Right? Boldly, the film Race reverses the Clancy novel. But it manages to it manages to do nothing with that theme either, except issue a few stray remarks to the effect that it seems ironic to fight for a country in which we're invisible. Okay, just throw that away. You know, throw that out in a casual conversation and then roll right back into the fighting for the country where you're invisible, right? Uh, piling up corpses on its behalf. Now, Cl Tom Clancy's novels suck, dude. I mean, I don't know. I see why they were kind of absorbing, you know. I, I think I got through Hug for Red October. Uh, but man, the writing is just sort of grindingly unimaginative, infelicitous. Uh, the plots are fantastic. And it's all militaristic jingoism, okay? It's fucking state propaganda. Uh, it better be fiction. Um, but even Clancy was a better writer than whoever drafted and or fixed this script, which doesn't manage to rise to his level of grinding mediocrity. Somewhere I have a second page. Now, maybe this is a moment where you can sell anything big on the small screen. Like small entertainments, you know, Zoom award shows and shit like that. Uh, we're over that, so we want Godzilla versus Michael B. Jordan over fighting in Geneva with the bad breath of death. I don't know how much you spent on this, <laughs> making this thing, man. Um, but you could hardly have done worse. Amazon Studios. Michael B. Jordan. I want to like you. I really do. Love the Rocky movies, actually, that you did. So, uh, think about it. Read the script next time. <laughs>